Hello and welcome to the ProPresenter tutorials for New Life Church Slide Volunteers. In this tutorial, we'll discover how to install and set up ProPresenter to run on our computer. Uh, just a reminder, if you'd like to skip ahead to different parts of this video, you can always check the video description box below for the different topics we'll be covering. For now, let's get started on how to set up our computer to create slides with ProPresenter. So for this first tutorial on setting up ProPresenter, we have a separate Mac and a PC version, just because we'll be doing some work outside of ProPresenter and installing files and moving them around and your screen will obviously look different if you have a Mac or a PC. But whether you have a Mac or a PC, the steps for this tutorial will still be the same in both versions. And for all the later tutorials, there'll only be one version because once we get into ProPresenter, the program window will look the same uh, regardless of your operating system. All right, so let's begin by downloading ProPresenter from the website renewedvision.com slash pro underscore download dot php and renewed vision is the company that makes pro presenter so i'm just going to go to that website and it's on the screen here and now i'm just going to choose which operating system i have all right once my file is finished downloading i'll locate it in windows explorer and follow the installation prompts There are two other utilities ProPresenter comes with and wants to install, and they kind of come up here. They're just helper programs for ProPresenter features. One of them is a network feature called Bonjour, and the other is a video player called QuickTime. Uh, you can feel free to choose if you want to install them or not, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just move through the prompts here and install both of them. Uh, you can finish installing ProPresenter and then continue with the tutorial. Feel free to pause it until that happens. I'm just going to move the screencast along quickly through the installation process here. And when I reach the end of my installation, the computer asks if I want to open ProPresenter. Uh, we can go ahead and make sure that box is checked and then click Finish, and ProPresenter will open for the first time. Now this window will pop up when we open ProPresenter since it's not unlocked. You can just always click Demo when this opens, and ProPresenter will fully load on your machine. And we'll say Yes. Let all users access the media folder. Uh, you may want to choose a different option here if your computer has multiple user accounts. Uh, next, there are a few Windows security features to move through, and ta-da! We now have ProPresenter installed and working on the computer. All right, well, once ProPresenter is installed, we'll need to install Dropbox as well. Uh, Dropbox is a program New Life uses to share slide and sermon files, and it'll be helpful in transporting our final copy of the slides we make to the computer New Life uses for slide presentation. So you can go to dropbox.com, and if you don't have an account, you can create one on the home page here. I already have an account, so I'll just choose the option to download Dropbox in the top right-hand corner of the page. And just like before, I'll find the setup file from the download and double-click it to install Dropbox. Once Dropbox installs, it's going to ask me to log in with the account I made. And once you have created an account, make sure you give that email address to the slide team leader and they'll share the slides folder with you. That has the rest of the files we'll be using in this tutorial. So if you have Dropbox downloaded and installed, make sure you get that slides folder shared with you and then you can continue with this tutorial. All right, so Dropbox has installed and the slide team leader has shared the Dropbox folder with me. So I am in Dropbox here in Windows Explorer, and I'm just going to find the folder that they shared with me. For me, it's called Slides. And uh, we'll just go inside that folder, and we'll find various items here that will be helpful for creating slides and exporting them. Um, we're going to focus on this folder in Dropbox right here, ProPresenter Essentials. And here we see a few folders we'll be working through to get all the resources for New Life Slides into our computer. Let's open the fonts folder and we'll install all three font files here titled Old Style NLC. I'll just begin by double clicking on them one at a time and then the font viewer pops up. I'll choose install and then move to the next and continue until all three of them are installed. And after that's done, I now have all three fonts installed on my computer to make slides. Next, we'll install the template for creating sermon slides. So we will navigate back to our Dropbox to the ProPresenter Essentials folder. And we're going to find the folder titled Templates. Inside you'll find a sermon slides template for Mac or for Windows. 
So depending on which operating system you have, you can find the appropriate file. We're on Windows here, so I'm gonna find the Windows version, and you don't have to worry about the date after the file. That just tells us the last time the templates were updated. We just do that to keep track of how current the templates we're sharing are but we can double click the version for the system we have, which I'm gonna double click on the Windows version here. And as you can see, ProPresenter will open and automatically install the template file. We can check that the template file is installed by going into ProPresenter, clicking on this templates icon in the top right hand corner. We'll see these two default templates and then we'll see NLC underscore sermons. And we can see it pop out here and there are all the template files for creating sermons. So the templates have been installed successfully. Now that the fonts and templates have been installed, we'll have two more steps to preparing our computer to create slides. Let's begin by opening up ProPresenter. Now the first step to configuring ProPresenter properly for New Life Slides is we're gonna add the default background images you'll be using for a sermon slides. In ProPresenter, Let's choose File up here at the top menu bar, Import, Import Video Image, and Import Background from Folder. Now in this new file window, I'm going to navigate to where the Slides Dropbox folder is. And in the ProPresenter Essentials folder we've been working from, we're going to go to that folder now titled Backgrounds. Let's select all three images in this folder. Hold down the shift key and you can click on them one at a time and all three will be selected. Once all three are selected, I'm gonna choose open and you'll see that they appear here in the video image bin on the bottom section of the ProPresenter program. And if for some reason you can't see the video image bin, remember you can always toggle it on and off by clicking the icon on the top of the program. So lastly, we will change the default size of our slide to match the size of the computer at New Life. To do this, go to the top menu bar again. We're gonna click on the word ProPresenter this time. And we're gonna scroll down and select Preferences. Now in this Preferences window, we're gonna to go to the second tab, this Display tab here. And at the bottom of this Display tab, you'll notice a box for the output screen. There's some values here we can enter for width and height. So we're gonna enter 1024 for the width and 768 for the height. Once you are sure your window looks like it does on this tutorial here, hit the update button and then you'll see the parameters in the preview window adjust accordingly. And then you can close the preferences window and those preferences will save. And you'll notice now our display window here on the left side of the program and also our images in the image bin are much more square than they were a few moments ago because they have the square aspect ratio of the 1024 768 number that we entered in there. So this is great. This ensures that our slides will be made in the square aspect ratio rather than the widescreen aspect ratio that a lot of computers default to when ProPresenter is first installed. Well, this has been the ProPresenter tutorial on how to set up your computer for NLC slides. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful and you are on your way towards making slides. You can feel free to move on to the next tutorials or go back and watch this one if you have any questions. As always, thanks so much for giving your time and talents to serve New Life Church.